Hi, welcome to Pigs Donkeys. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bridle. It's just a really um, basic, simple bridle. All it is is just one continuous headpiece and a brow band. So it's got no throat lash, no nose band, no um, chin strap, and there's no adjustment. So you need to actually know um, the correct measurement for your bridle. And it just looks quite, quite elegant. I've used five beads on each side there. So I'll go ahead and show you how to make this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to measure, you want to put the bridle on your horse at the correct positioning and then you want to measure from the bit, so from the other side that's going to fold over all the way up. So all the way up. And then down the other side and then under as much as you want in there I'm not going to use very much over the other side um, so about there probably do for me it's around about 114 115 centimeters for my bridle but you need to obviously get the right measurement for your horse um, then you want to take just a little bit of bit of cord and cut that in half, just a couple of feet, so that you can put through your work, so that it doesn't come undone. Okay, so I'm going to measure down to my 115 centimeters, which is what I figured out is the length I'm going to need. So from the halfway point of your cord, I'm going to need a lot of cord. So, so I'm going to measure down my 45 feet, uh, inches. Sorry. Which is there, and that's where I'm going to start my bridle from. So, what you do, can you kind of come around this side now? So you can see from this perspective. Is, okay, so that's, that's the part that's going to be my bridle. And you fold that over towards yourself at that point. And then you're going to put the right hand strand over the centre. The left hand strand goes over the top of that, around the back of everything and up the other side. And you're going to have to oops, pull all that cord through. And there's a lot of it to come through. Just got to be careful to not let that get too tangled up. Okay. Then the left hand side is going to go across the centre. Right hand strand will go over the top of that and around the back of everything and out the other side. That. So just pull that through, tighten that up. Now this is where you want to get, just pull your loops out for a minute and you'll get your other strand that you had there. Because you'll use this at the end to put it around your bit. Okay, and we'll tighten up those, those loops now and just leave those strands sitting there for now. So you just keep doing your cobra weave until you're ready to put your beads in. So I've, I've gotten to the part that's going to go around the bit and I'm working out where I'm going to put my beads. So I'm going to put five beads on each side. So I've got I've got my measuring tape at the halfway point, which is right in between the ears at the top of the horse's head. So, because I'm working from, from this direction up and it's going to be continuous, when I get to the 20 centimetre mark, which is 
8 inches going down that's where I'll start my first bead but it's where I'll end my first bead coming from this direction if that makes sense so I'm going to put one at every two inches so if I do my last one there one two three four five so I'm going to start where it says 16 inches here so I'm just about to start my first bead at the 16 inch mark and I'll do I'm going to do mine at two inch intervals you turn that off for a sec okay so I'm ready to put my first bead on so what you're gonna do is just get to the end end of your loop and feed your bead through there and then you'll just do your knot over the top of that Okay, so right strand over the center, left strand over that, around the back. Make sure you're not standing on your cord. And then that left hand goes over the center, right hand over that strand, around the back. So just keep doing your cobra weave, but you'll just come down underneath that bead. To make sure that's securely in place and then you just keep going on until you do your two inches and you're ready for your next bead or whatever interval you want to make yours you don't have to do two inches that's just what I've decided to do on mine okay stop that for a sec okay so about two inches so I'm ready to put my second bead on so again just find the end of that Cord, put your bead through and again right strand over the center or whichever one you happen to be up to you might be up to the left side over tie your copper knot over the top of that And then left over and just keep going along until you've got your, all your beads in that you want in. That'll do that. Okay, so you can see here that's the where the bridle will sit at the pole. This is the side I've already done. So I'm ready to add in my new bead here now. As we go down the other side. So just like we did before, you're really just going to keep adding on beads. We'll work our way down until we get to the bottom section. just keep going with the pattern so in my case I'm doing every two inches adding in an extra bead okay so we're almost at the end so just take your other little bit of cord that you had at the start and just Put that through the end part there. Make a cow's hitch. And we'll use that at the end to um, to attach that around the other side of the bit. So we'll just go ahead and finish off now the rest. That last little bit at the end. Until you can't fit any more <coughs> knots on there.
Okay, so you'll cut those, you'll snip those off and melt. And then we'll attach these, these two strands around a bit to the other side. Okay, so you just chop off the ends and melt those. Okay, so what I've decided to, to do to finish off mine with those, those two ends is I've worked out that my measurement is going to end around about this bead. So I'm just going to fold these cords and put them up through the bead. And I'm going to tie a knot in the end to finish mine. If yours finishes in a different place that's not near a bead, you can just um, weave it through the sides there with a fit and cut off and do a little knot there. But this has just worked out for me to be the most convenient place to do it. Oops, so I'll just slide that other one through there. And then I'm just going to tie a knot in there. Two knots. And again, I'll just snip those there and melt. So to make my brow band, um, I just found an old button that I thought would have a big enough um, hole there to put the paracord through. And I've I like the look of that button. Um, so I figured out that I need to start my brow band from about six inches down from the <clears throat> from the pole, from the middle of the headpiece. Um, you'll have to work out where you want to start um, for yours, because obviously every horse is going to be different. So I want to start mine about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my micro cord onto a bit and I'm going to feed it through there, then through the button and then up to the corresponding part on the other side and I'm going to braid over the top of that. So I'll just melt the end a little bit of my cord so that I can fit into my fit. Just screw that in there. So then a bit there. Make sure I'll go up one side. And down the other side. My fit's not going to fit through there, so I'll just have to take the cord out, put it through, and put the other end through as well. And then work out how long you want yours to be. I'm going to do my nine inches <coughs> on each side. I just get all my cord to come through. Okay, so I'll measure out my nine inches either side. And I'll do the same <coughs> up on the corresponding side. Should be roughly there. Put the fit back on. Okay, 
and then just do your other cord next to there just pull that through until you've got your measurement correct So then you bring your cords over over there and you'll start your braid. Okay, so just your cobra weave over those bottom strands, so right over the center. Left over that strand, right, sorry, all the way around the back, over to the right hand side. Put your cord through. And then your left over the centre. Right over that. Around the back. So again, just your cobra weave. Just do that all the way over those two strands until you get down to your button and then you'll come across and come up the other side. Okay so I've got to the halfway point so then I'm just gonna go across to the other side now, cross over that, that V in the centre and just keep braiding on the other side. Over those strands. Just tighten that up so it can't slide up. Just make sure that's nice and even on both sides. Just continue up the other side <coughs> until you get to the end. Okay, so I've gone down that side, back up the other side here, and then we're just about finished, so you can just cut those ends off and melt those, and your brow band's finished on your bridle. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.